Hi everyone, it's Michelle here. Just popped in to share with you some of the um, books I've been making uh, this this year. So, like many of you, I was inspired to watch Tidying Up on Netflix. Thought that was such a good idea, considering my creative space is still a mess. I've been working on it for about six years now, I think. It's still not tidy, so... <laughs> The reality is I don't have enough room for all the stuff, so it done fat. And I think that means I need a bigger space. But the husband doesn't. He thinks that means I've got too much stuff and I need to get rid of it. So I watched Marie Kondo and I got inspired and I got all these box of paper. And then I thought, well, obviously, when you've got too much paper, you should make some books. So I did. So I made... I started with this one and then I had some more so I made this one and then I had some more so I made this one and <laughs> this one and that one and it went on and on and on so I'll show you all of those these this one I started and made purely for myself so what I my intention was just to make a really easy book that I can just use as a glue book nothing else just smack the glue in it's quite fat as you can see it's a couple of inches couple of inches on the spine, a couple of inches fat, and um, it's easily going to end up enormous, but I don't care. I like, you know, I quite like that. So what I, one of the intentions was, all the little bits of crap that I keep hoarding, um, I can just stick into here. So this was a cereal box that I covered in some wrapping paper, and then I had some images that I glued on the front, and this is an old notebook cover that I couldn't get rid of because I like the graphics. Again, some wrapping paper, an image that I liked. And that's all I did with this one. Just kept all the images that I liked. Just kept them and started to stick them down. This is just like 17 different images that I wanted to keep for some reason. And I just thought, right, I'll just stick them. Not necessarily making them beautiful, but just keeping them all in one place together. Otherwise, because if I have to start thinking about how to make them beautiful, I'm still going to be working on this blasted box of papers for another 14 years. So that's why I'm just shoving some things down. So um, I have had things like this. This is um, a postcard advertising from um, Christchurch. Loved the graphics of it so I've kept it ever since since I went and there's I had a couple more of those so they are scattered through some of the other books um, and so yeah every image that I had I don't know why I kept these images but I did and um, loved them so into the book they go lots of blank papers so I can just keep adding things to them like this little I thought this was so cute from a magazine the the three monkeys see no speak no and hear no evil um, and then some cute stamps some little notes probably that my kids have left me and I just keep sticking things in all the way through a lot of uh, promotional pieces that I like I like the graphics and the imagery so I kept all those this is a cute little bag so I had to had to had to keep it um, just tucked some of the advertising graphics in behind the windows um, oh this one you'll see she is also on the front of this book and she that was from a um, an exhibition that had finished and so I grabbed the promotional materials for that and, and have hoarded her for quite a while so I had to push myself to use her um, just cool little images that I found and had been lying around quite liked her um, and uh, this is um, Catherine Mansfield from her, some promotional materials from her um, house that we have here in Wellington. Uh, this is a, a supermarket chain, uh, not a supermarket, a pizza company chain in New Zealand and it's called Hell's Pizza and I just think their, their graphics, their imagery is really, really clever so I've kept that for a while so I just tuck that all in, a little bit of doodling I did. So, um, yeah, so I've got um, just kept cards, any imagery that I keep finding, I just keep tucking in. This was a bit of a leftover on a piece of scrapbook paper, so tuck that in. This is a cover of a notebook that I had kept for goodness knows how long, a card. So all those bits that I just kept and had lying around, 
different promotional materials that I always keep, some from Kiki K. Um, just wanted a place to, to, to put them so that I don't need to just keep hiding them all over the place. Um, this way I can, anything I find, um, like when I was cleaning up, sort of cleaning up my desk, you know, I found that little piece from something which I thought was really cute and my idea was I just would have this on my desk and then I could just, you know, when I find something, instead of just trying to put it away or find somewhere to stick it for a little while, I would just grab it, stick it on the book somewhere, and then it's done. Like that. So if I pick it up, it has to go somewhere. And that is what this book is all about. Cool. So I have a real thing for the graphics, of the advertising graphics. So that is a lot of time what I keep. Um, I don't think there's a lot more in here. Um, so same sort of papers and things all through here. And then just again, graphics that I kept from an art show in 2012. And we like that artist, so we keep that. And I hope that one day we could buy a piece of this work. Um, yeah, so this is my orange page. Um, all the little orange bits that I kept and that was again cut out from some advertising graphics and I liked the that car so yeah that is that one and these are just a whole stack of bits that I'm going to go through to find a place for and that is that so that is that one um, lots of room to keep going with that but for some reason I decided oops you know I really do need another one uh, probably because I found a few more graphics this one I made out of an old book you can see the spine there and then these are some graphics that, that are from this is from a calendar a bit of scrap paper um, and then I just put the, the little Dymo label on it there um, this is from a calendar this is from some sort of promotional material and some flow papers. So this one's probably, um, I don't know what it is actually. I'm trying to remember. This hasn't got very much in it, so I haven't put a lot in it, except for these, these, these ladies are all through it, because they all came from this book that I found, and it was at, at one of the charity shops. It had, um, had had quite a few bits ripped out of it, so some of the pictures I just... I, you know, grabbed what I could and I've just glued them all through. So anything that was kind of lying around, this is a back of a music book. Some more promotional papers that I just stuck those images on. Um, little paper bags, oh, envelopes. And again, as I said, some, some of these flow papers. These are really cool. Um, pattern this was just in a bag of patterns that I got from somewhere and that was all that was pretty much left I don't think there was any cookie pattern in it it was just that and that so I'm going to glue that I might glue that there um, yeah so things waiting to be glued in that can be tucked in later and this one's just got lots of plain papers um, and this is again um, part of a um, calendar so I just chopped all the imagery and words and things out of that calendar and have just stuck them randomly throughout the place. And that's really that one. So this one's mine. I'm not going to sell this one, I don't think. Mostly because I'm really kind of in love with these images. So at least I find another one of these books um, keeping this one. So those were those two. And then, because as I said before, I had so much... Um, paper I made another few and these ones are all made out of um, cereal boxes and they're all covered with various scrap paper or scrap bits of um, scrapbook paper two inch spines they are eight inches tall and six inches fat and they're all more or less the same um, I will do a quick try and do a quick flick through them because I have um, shared a few photos so I have got a few people interested in these um, but if you do, do decide you're interested in buying one of these six that I'm about to show um, you feel free to email me I can I'm happy to take backups because I don't I won't send the invoices out until everybody's happy with what you know what they want 
So this one again has got, um, they've all got um, calendar images on the inside and I've used some of my other calendar images through some of the flow papers. Um, this one's got a bit of um, brown paper and some scrapbook imagery. There's various tucks and brown papers. This one's, um, this is from one of the O's encyclopedias around and I just put a little um, envelope on the back. They've got various, um, these ones have got various poster cards from my huge hoard of postcards. It's a bit of an issue. And uh, so, so quite a lot of them are from New Zealand. So I've tucked those into various spaces along with some extra cards that I had. Um, just some of them I just like the colours and the graphics on like this little frog guy. Um, this is a bit of leftover vellum from a project. Um, so lots of blank pages for doodling and collaging just like I've been doing and then tucked in our various um, promotional um, video postcards and um, some scenic postcards and things in various pockets. So I just boom boom boom. So this is the, as I said, most of them are pretty similar. Um, just kind of trying to flick and talk quite quickly at the same time. But I just thought this, these were quite fun for um, doing just what I'm doing. Just collaging and doodling and drawing and all that good stuff that we like to do when we keep hoarding pieces of paper. This was a lovely um, graphics, this one. Then I've kept that, that bird image, that was beautiful. Um, lovely stamp there. And then, so some of the posts, the promotional cards are quite fun. This one's from Kleenex Tissues and Essential for Big Socks. And then some cool graphics from a, this was some, a sports book. An old sports book that I got, so I love that. And then this is a favourite. This is this fabulous um, postcard from Christchurch. I love that image on that. And then we come here to Lovers, the new black. So I couldn't quite fit everything in, but you can hopefully see what that is. And, and if, you know, easily can cover that up with different imagery. So that's the red one. Then I've got two of these covers. So I had a bit of this paper. I had bent it all out. So I cut off what was st still usable, and here it is. So very similar, as you can see, um, and I'll do a super quickie. I don't even know quite what's in everything. So that's another one of those cute postcards. This is from Radio New Zealand, so quite quite a lot of the imagery that's through it um, will be um, postcards from New Zealand, but there are some that are from overseas. Goodness knows. And um, that I just liked the imagery. There's some of them have got some wetter stuff in here, and in the various ones um, because of my trips to wetter. If you don't know what wetter is, it's a um, film company. So some cards, again more imagery and stamps and envelopes and cool postcards. A couple of pockets. So this one, that is the this one. So these two, I'm just kidding. Oh, this one has got um, a back pocket that had come from an old notebook. So there's some tucks in that one, and then this one again is very similar, but it's got a different a different back pretty sure it's very similar again um, just do a bit of a flippy flip like that so that's those two and what I have put in the photograph on Facebook is these little um, name plates that I've made but I have as you can see have not attached them could not make a decision so uh, those come, those are part of the part of the notebook. So if you do for those people that have grabbed these, um, yeah, 
you can have your little nameplate and I can glue it on if you like or you can have it separately and you can add it later if you want to do some collaging and stuff like that on them. So should we have a look at these two? Oh my gosh. There we go. So this is again, let's have a look, similar. Make sure we've got postcards in the pockets because that would be terrible. Wellington City Library, that lovely bird paper there. Oh, you can see. <laughs> I love this imagery from the um, Victoria University. That is in, in a few of them. Um, so it depends. Sometimes when that they, um, they expire, what happens is I keep an eye out for things like this that have expired. So I don't have any guilt then because they, you know, it's no good to them if it's expired. So on the other side of that is the beginning date and that's the end date. After that, I will, you know, take, I will happily recycle their materials for them. So, well, that's a postcard from a TV movie. Um, I'm not sure if I showed you this or not. I did it in one of my attempts to make this video. But this was beautiful um, promotional material from this fantastic gallery. Isn't that absolutely stunning image? I love that one. So, when I'm in the lottery, I'm just going to track down the artists and see if I can get one of those tree paintings. So I think that is, gives you a bit of an idea of this one. Boom. Um, so I didn't like, I had made these and I put these these images down of um, Audrey that I had from a calendar. Excuse my voice, I'm getting a bit croaky. Just need a drink, that's all. So I put the, um, this lovely um, Chinese paper in here. I just like, I thought that blended with that better and I didn't mind whatever was on the front page here. Oh, this one gets, this one has that cool image there as well. And this is from our lottery. Was a gift card that you could give your lottery tickets to somebody in. A little pocket with a postcard. A little tuck there. <clears throat> and then you can see some sort of papers. They've got an assortment of papers all through these that I had just kept for far too long. Um, and you can see how many. Ooh, I might have been hoarding them all those gorgeous images for too long so at least I've got one I like that this is cool eh? I did um, this does mean that one of my boxes is empty I just have another couple um, this is a part from a um, notebook but I loved the, the imagery on that so I thought that was cool so I tucked that there this one is similar Paris is always a good idea and if you hold the book up there, you can see the, the image from that calendar there. So then same sort of thing again here, pretty much similar papers that I was trying to break the stash of. Oh, this was a cool little envelope I found at the charity shop. Isn't this guy gorgeous? <laughs> but he was cute. So one for me and one for you. Um, what else is interesting? Oh, this, I love this. Look at that, I found that in a charity shop as well. It's from Toy Story, isn't that cool? So it's a, um, you can use it as a postcard. And if you wanted to write something, you could just cover that with a little bit of paper and, or just, you know, a bit of white gesso and just write on that or doodle on that. But I love the imagery. Oh, this is Hobbiton. Uh, some New Zealand stamps and a little postcard. Oh, there's one from Weta as well. Some more postcards, postcards. And then, again, you can see all those same sort of papers. There was a few. I like that bookmark, isn't that clever? That's from the library. So that's that one. And then we've got the red ones, the last one. So let me just tuck that in. And then I'll shoot off and can get finished on some new books. So some more imagery. So again, this one's got um, some of the sorts of things. I've, talk, I've 
I've made this video twice, so the trouble is now I can't remember if I've told you everything or if it's in a different video. So, I'm not going to say much. Then it won't be quite so boring to have to listen to it twice. But you can see all the different papers. There's lots of papers. I haven't even counted them. But there's quite a lot of them. Um, some imagery, some cool promotional pictures, graphics, little tucks. And pockets. I loved her, isn't she beautiful? I turned her into a pocket, so there's a couple of things tucked into there. And there we go. That gives you a bit of an idea of all of those. Oh, lucky. Lucky favourite favorite picture there. So that's, that's those ones. So that's um, part of what I've been doing in January, making those babies. I have also been working on a couple of others, so um, not finished yet. So, um, But these two are currently in production, a skinny and a potentially fatty. Um, and then I've got a few more on the table as well. So I'm looking forward to getting everything um, finished and getting the, just reopening the shop. I just wanted to have a bit more stock really before I open my little shop up again. And at the moment, I just didn't seem to have anything finished. So it's been summer here. So I am shocked by all the photos and imagery on um, Instagram of the snow that I keep seeing from my American friends. It's incredible. Uh, and meantime, I'm lying here sweltering in front of a fan trying to, trying to create because it's summer and it's uh, been a late, hot summer. So I hope you're well, whatever the temperature you are. Thinking of my Australian friends and the extreme heat that you guys have had, I know you've been much worse than we have. Uh, you take care. I hope you've all had a wonderful new year and that it continues. Um, so bye for now and I'll see you again real soon.